Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, this is part two of forces with multiple objects. In the last video, we looked at three boxes stacked on top of each other that were not moving. In this video, we're gonna be looking at three boxes that are moving and we're gonna see how the process changes just a little bit. Just a quick recap from the last video. The way I solve force problems is a three and a half step process. Step one, free body diagram for every box. Step 1.5, if you have any forces at angles, split them up into X and Y components. Sometimes you can skip that step if there's no angles. Then step two, Newton's second law, F net X and F net Y. Remember that for Newton's second law, when you have multiple objects, there's quite a few different equations you can write. For instance, if you have two boxes, you can write F net X and F net Y for both boxes individually or both boxes combined, which we usually call the system. And then step three is solve using math. Very simple if you get that far. So let's go ahead and look at the problem we have today. I have three boxes being pulled to the right with some force. And I'll give you numbers because I'm feeling generous today. Let's say the force is 150 Newtons. And each of these masses have the exact same mass. I'll say M equals 20 kilograms. So each of these masses are 20 kilograms. And my question ultimately is, if I label these tensions T1 for the left rope and T2 for the right rope, I want you to find the tension in each rope T1 and T2. So how are we going to solve this? Well, of course, I'm gonna follow my three-step process. Step one, free body diagrams for every box. So since these look identical, I need to label them somehow. I will be labeling them left middle and right. So for the left box, for that free body diagram, I have a force pulling to the right. It's T1, just look at the picture. And there's no forces pointing to the left, so I don't care about any forces pointing to the left. Technically I have gravity pulling down and normal force pushing up, but I'm not gonna draw that on this picture because if you've ever seen this problem before, you know that those forces don't matter at all because we're just gonna be focusing on the X direction for this problem. That's where T1 and T2 are located, just in the X direction. But if you really wanna put force of gravity going down and a normal force going up, you can do that. It won't change the problem. Next, for the middle box, for this one, if I look at it, there's a force to the right, it's T2, and there's a force to the left, it's T1. Maybe you don't realize this, but technically T1 is pulling both ways to the right on the left box and to the left on the middle box. That is because of Newton's third law and these forces are equal to each other. They're both T1. Similarly, T2 has the same thing going on and we'll see that when we look at the right box. But for now, what I'm saying is the free by diagram has T2 pointing to the right and T1 pointing to the left and that's it. I'm not gonna worry about the normal force or the force of gravity. And then for the right box that has mass M, once again, there's two forces acting on the right box. It's the 150 Newton force pointing to the right and then T2 now pointing to the left. Meaning in my free body diagram, I'm gonna have, you can call it F or 150 Newtons, I don't care, to the right and then T2 pointing to the left. And that's it for step one free body diagram. Next is step 1.5. That would be if I have any forces at angles, I gotta split them into X and Y components. Good news, there are no angles, so we don't need to do that. So then instead we're going straight to step two. What's step two? The sum of forces equations, Newton's second law. Now we got a bunch of different options we can choose from here. Obviously we're dealing in the X direction, like I said earlier, but we're either looking at the left, the middle, or the right, or the system, which is all three combined. And the secret is for multiple objects, if you have multiple objects and they're moving, you always wanna start with F net for the system. And in this case, it's, it's in the X direction. So what that means is I'm now saying all the forces to the right minus all the forces to the left. And I gotta go through these boxes one by one. Doesn't matter which way we start, but I'll start from right to left since I think that makes the most sense. So first I have the 150 Newton force. That's to the right, so it's positive. Then, T2 here, that's negative because it points to the left, so minus T2. 
Then this T2 right here is positive because it's pointing to the right, so plus T2. Then this T1 here is negative, so minus T1. Then this T1 here is in the positive direction, so plus T1. And normal force and gravity do not matter because they point in the Y direction. So that's it for this. And you'll notice that T2 and T1 both cancel. That's why we look at the system first because that's the only way they're going to cancel. And so then you'll just be left with 150 on the left. And on the right, we have mass times acceleration. Now, what mass is this? Is it the left, right, or the middle? And the answer is all three combined. Since the masses were each 20, 20 times 3 is 60 kilograms times the acceleration. If we want to solve acceleration, just do 150 divided by 60. And we'll get an acceleration of 2.5 meters per second squared. You'll notice I'm not circling this answer because I wanted to find the tension, tension 1 and tension 2. But you'll notice tension 1 and tension 2 both canceled. So why did we look at the system if it just canceled? The reason why we looked at the system is because you just found the acceleration. If you, if you don't know the acceleration, then you can't find T1 and T2, I guarantee you. But now that we have the acceleration, now we're going to look at the boxes individually. We're either going to look at left, right, or middle. Doesn't matter which one. To prove it, I'll do all three. So if I want to solve for T1, I'll do left. It's probably the easiest one. So F net comma X comma left is equal to all the forces to the right, T1, minus the forces to the left. There are no forces to the left, so don't write anything. And then that equals mass times acceleration. Now this time the mass is just 20 because it's just the left box, it's not all of them. And the acceleration is still 2.5. Meaning T1 is going to be 20 times 2.5, we'll get 50 Newtons. And there's T1. Now we're going to find T2. I can either look at the middle or the right, since it doesn't matter. Again, I'm doing both. So I'll do the middle next. So that would be F net comma X comma middle is equal to all the forces to the right. There's only one T2 minus the forces to the left. There's only one T1. That equals mass times acceleration. T2 is what I'm solving for. T1 we just found to be 50 and mass is 20 kilograms acceleration. 2.5. So now if I want to solve this, I add 50 to both sides. T2 equals 50 plus 20 times 2.5 is also 50. Looks like T2 is going to be 100 newtons. And here I would normally just stop the problem. I'm done. I found T1. I found T2. That's what I wanted. But just to prove we could have looked at the right box as well. If I look at F net comma X comma right, then that would be the forces pointing to the right 150 newtons, the pulling force, minus forces pointing to the left, which was T2. That equals mass times acceleration. And now I know all these numbers, so I can just plug in. 150 minus T2, which was 100, is equal to the mass 20 times acceleration 2.5. 150 minus 100 is 50. 20 times 2.5 is 50, verifying that my answer is good. So since it didn't matter which two boxes I looked at, what would I do? I would probably choose the left box and the middle box. I think that would be the easiest. Or you could do left and right box. That would also be an easy combination. But overall, that's how we're going to be solving any force problem that has multiple objects in it, especially when they are moving. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.